More now on a story we first told you about on City News last night. It started with multiple shots fired in a quiet residential neighborhood in Vaughan, leaving one man dead, a second transported to hospital with a gunshot wound. It happened in the early hours on Saturday, where a party was taking place inside an Airbnb rental near Major McKenzie Drive and Highway 27. York Regional Police have arrested one man for fleeing the scene. He isn't being called a suspect. Police saying his involvement is under investigation. Neighbors tell City News they heard a fight breaking out around 3 a.m. inside the home, followed by loud bangs. Pretty surprised, but uh, you can't be surprised these days. It can happen anywhere. Um, I guess it uh, was an Airbnb rental, so you never know really. And at this hour, the home on Timber Creek Boulevard remains behind a yellow tape. York Regional Police still here at the scene, and forensics investigators have been entering and exiting the home all day. Neighbors say the house has been on the market for quite some time, but in the meantime, it was being used as an Airbnb. And in the past, there have been noise complaints and calls made to police. These concerns about short-term rentals have been ongoing here in the city of Vaughan. That's according to the area's counselor. The city of Vaughan tells City News, though, this is a safe area. It also has plans to follow in Toronto's footsteps and look into regulating short-term rentals. I'm just looking forward to getting a grip on this because it's getting rampant and um, and right now I feel like it's a free-for-all so and it's not fair and it hasn't been a, a pretty scene and it's uh, it's pretty scary and you know residents shouldn't have to live scared in their homes because of short-term rentals. So we've seen the City of Toronto introducing regulations for short-term rentals. Is the City of Vaughan at all considering doing the same? The City of Vaughan has just embarked on the review and trying to incorporate the, the, the new Airbnbs which something that just never existed before so we are we're just nowhere near the end of that study and review but based on the complaints that I know that I have uh, I have provided to bylaw that we're trying to fast track this we're also trying to model some of our review based on what the city of Toronto has done but we're still a long ways away however this just shows how important it is because Airbnbs or short-term rentals were never meant to be in neighborhoods. How popular are Airbnbs here in Vaughan? Within Maple itself, we've got about 40 to 50 Airbnbs. I understand there's a lot more closer to Canada's Wonderland. I know that last year we had a huge um, influx of foreign buyers buying up uh, homes and in, during that hot market. And now they're sitting on these properties, no intent to move in, and they're trying to recoup their, uh, their investment somehow. But Airbnb it's not the best way to do it. How do you think regulations uh, might alleviate some concerns from uh, members of the public? Well, we need to have zones established at the very least where you can and where you can't. We also have to be fair because uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, if people are looking to rent a home for business, they're in the city for, for a month or two or whatever, we don't want to prohibit that from happening. But, you know, having these major parties in, in these homes for a one night stand, it, it's just not acceptable. The listing for the home has been removed from the Airbnb website. Airbnb telling City News it has also launched an investigation uh, on their end. Part of that investigation will also be looking into who was renting the home at the time of the shooting. That incident or that uh, information has not been made public.